Hey guys, what's going on? This is Kale here with Second Life Productions. So, I've never done a video like this on my channel, but I thought it would be kind of cool. So, uh, what I'm going to show you how to do today is how to create um, scaled um, proxy cards. Uh, so you can see here on the screen, uh, this is Tapu Lele, um, and these, when you print, will print exactly to the scale of, uh, of this particular card. Um, so I was doing research, trying to figure out how to print proxies, um, and more importantly, I wanted to print um, a page of proxies um, exactly to scale and it's most of the the stuff that I found is very cumbersome um, involves multiple steps so on and so on and so on I just wasn't finding any information on how to do it easily and I started playing around with Photoshop and I figured out this awesome awesome technique so I wanted to share it um, so of course like I said I'm using Photoshop to do this and this is an example of what we'll be able to create here. So, very first step is you need to get a card. So, we are going to create this Tapu Lele. So, I'm on Pokemon.com, uh, uh, US, TCG, Pokemon cards, so you get the idea. Um, you can use whatever site you want, but you want to get a fairly decent resolution image. Um, this one uh, is good enough for our purposes, so we'll just go on their website and we're going to save the image. Okay, so you can save it wherever you want to on your computer. Okay, um, in this case, um, we're going to, I'm just going to save it. I have a prox deck uh, folder. Okay, um, so we'll just uh, save it there. Alright, so it's saved for us now. Alright, so let me exit out of this here so that you know that I'm creating a new one. So we will now open that image. So there's what we just saved. So there it is uh, in, again, Adobe Photoshop. Okay? So now we're going to go up to file and go to picture package which is this right here now I've already created the layout template which is what I call playset here but I'm gonna show you guys how to create it uh, for the first time so we're going to edit this layout that you see on the screen okay if your page size is not set to a standard page size, which is 8.5 by 11, you want to go ahead and change that now. Uh, after you do that, uh, delete all of the zones that they auto-populate on the screen. Okay? So now we're going to add a zone. Okay? So it adds one zone in here, and if we click on it, we can change the dimensions of that zone. So we're going to change these dimensions so that they are a standard cards dimensions. So that means that it is a width of exactly 63 millimeters. Type it in and hit enter. And that's fine. Sixty-three millimeters. Sorry, guys. It, it never works exactly as planned when you're doing it on film. Type it in. Click there. Don't hit enter. Don't do what I said. Type it in and click on the other dimension. Okay. So on the other dimension, we're going to do our height, which is exactly eighty-eight millimeters. Okay. 
So 63 millimeters and 88, so just click on the other dimension when you're swapping back and forth between them. And now you have this exactly sized to what you want. Next, right click on it and duplicate it. All right, you can do this however many times you want. So if you are, in my case, doing a play set, we would just do four, but you could do easily um, more cards than that on a single sheet of paper. So it's a little tight to get nine in, and depending on your printer, it may cut something off around the top and the bottom and the sides, um, but you can get nine. Otherwise, you could do six, three, and three, and then you could turn two on their sides. Uh, so seven, eight is what you would get, and that gives you a buffer at the top and the bottom if your printer is uh, kind of with margins going to cut stuff off. Um, so I'm going to just do our play set, okay, which would be four. Now if you want them exactly, you can snap them to a grid. which will space them evenly um, for the OCD among us. Otherwise, it doesn't really matter. Um, so your step would be to name this, OK? And in my case, I named it Playset. Um, but you can name it whatever you want, and then you would save it. I'm not going to save it, because I don't need another one. Um, so there's Playset, which is what I just showed you how to create. So that's what it does, okay? So let me show you again, once you've created your layout, um, what you can actually do. So when you're doing this, just go into Picture Package. You've already created your layout, okay? So we can just click the layout we've created, and it automatically fills it in. So once you hit OK, it converts a file over to this playset. Um, so I now have four of these exactly sized cards ready to print. Now in Photoshop, it's created a duplicate file, as you can see. Um, so I'm going to close out of the original image and just leave the playset image on the screen so that when I go to print, I'm not printing multiple documents. I'm only printing the one I want. And you want to set it to actual size, uh, which is 8.5 by 11. Otherwise, it will resize this, um, and you won't get the correct image. And then you also sorry, want to make sure that under print setup, that you're only doing one page per sheet. Otherwise, again, it's going to resize this and it won't be correct. Um, but very, very cool um, way to do proxy cards. Um, for those of you who want to make your proxy cards look different uh, than the actual card, um, you can just simply go in and convert this to grayscale. which will turn them all black and white. Makes them a little more difficult to read, I think. Um, but for some people, that's what they want to do so that they don't look like the actual card and uh, can't be confused. Um, it's up to you. I would rather print them in color and just, uh, just accept it for what it is. Um, but the awesome thing that I I love about doing it with this technique is I can really quickly go in once I've saved my uh, my layout and I can create these proxy card uh, sheets and then run them off at my printer. So if I'm wanting to play test a deck 
I can print these proxy cards super, super quick, which I love. Um, the only downside is you still have to cut the mat, <laughs> which I don't know a faster way to do that yet. <laughs> we'll save that for another video. How about that? Um, I hope this is helpful. Um, if you like this video, uh, make sure to give me a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment if you got any questions, if there's anything you don't understand. Uh, again, this is Kale, Second Life Productions. Take it easy. If you like our video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe so you can see more great videos like this.